He's a big boy. He's a big boy. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm stuck for the first time. The problem out here is you get like this snow blind where everything looks the same. Hopefully this won't be too bad. I'll do some shoveling and get out here, hopefully pretty quickly. I just drove from over here and I couldn't even find my tracks to get back. So I think I'm just gonna try to gun it backwards. Or if I could, oh, there's a drift there too. Ah, oh, doggone. I think backwards and fast is gonna be my best option. Okay, so there's two trains of thought when you're driving. I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, I think we're in thinner snow here. All right. Whew, those might be my tracks there. There's two trains of thought when you're driving in, in deep snow or in unknown territory. Do you go really slow so that when you hit a drift, you stop right away, but then you get stopped? Or do you go at a pretty good speed so that you bust through it? Well, the problem is if you go fast enough and you bust through it and you get high centered, and you get all that snow packed underneath, Good luck with that. Just give you a quick look at my setup today. So anyway, it was a little sketchy getting out here, but we are here now, and this is a brand new spot I've never fished. I'll give you a look inside here too. So I've got my chair, my heater, my camera, my Vexlar, a couple holes. We are getting close to prime time. We took so long messing around trying to find a spot that we, number one, we got out here late, number two, we uh, wasted a lot of time, so. Oh, that middle slippery little bugger. So we're gonna send him. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. Go get us some big fish. And of course, I came with three GoPros to give you guys a nice little video today. But apparently, the well, last time I charged up the batteries was long ago enough that they're dead, which I swear I just did it like a week ago, but who knows. I've been using a new charger for the new newest GoPro, and the old batteries don't really fit in it quite the way I would like them to, and I'm wondering if they're not getting not getting the charge when I think they are. 
Okay, so here in Minnesota, we are allowed two lines through the ice. So we are going to do one set line and one jig line. Jeez. Looks like there's a guy stuck. But it looks like he's got a buddy helping him. There we got it. Kind of misting out a little bit now and it has become a white wall the only good thing is hopefully my headlights will give me some shadow and depth as you can see somebody's plowed here so this is really nice but the guy who just helped that other guy get unstuck he just got stuck but he was able to get out he dug himself out pretty quickly i was just getting ready to go over there and help him and he got out right away Whew. Well, wow, it is eerily still. There is a tiny fish coming. Oh, got him. Oh, I missed him. Messing with the transducer. Doggone it. Wild, big, nice walleye come through, and then that shark came through. Oh, just had a bite on my set line, but then it popped right back up, so I'm not sure what that was. <clears throat> you can see the bottom. That's kind of cool. There is a huge northern down there, huge. Like, oh my God, I got him. He's got my camera. Wrapped up in my camera. Oh, he's not that big. Sure look a lot bigger underneath the ice. Okay. And he is full of black spots. Look at all the black spots. Gross. All right. We're going to send him, send him down the hole. Come on, buddy. Come on. Goodbye. Now let's see what kind of mess we got going here. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. Hang on. Oh my gosh. I got his head right at the hole and he's sideways. <laughs> oh, 
Anna, face, I'm gonna hang up, FaceTime me quick. Oops, hand, <laughs> where am I? How big is it? Uh, it's probably four pounds, four or five pounds, maybe. All right, just pulled a nice little walleye. Sorry I didn't record for you guys, but my daughter and I are FaceTiming. So it's not huge, but it's about a 13, 14 inch. So, all right, I'm going to get back down because it seems like the walleyes are running and I'm going to keep talking to my daughter. So I will catch you guys in a couple of minutes. It's a little teeny tiny minnow. We got ourselves a little minnow. But it's a Walter, no less. It's a Walter. A mark on the graph. It's been a quiet, quiet day. And he gone. I think it's a small one. Pretty small. All right, let's put a little spice on that lure, shall we? Adios. Okay, nobody mentioned that my set line was down. It doesn't feel very big. Well, we're making our way off the ice and it was a somewhat productive trip. Uh, the walleyes weren't fast and furious, but we uh, picked up two walleyes and I had a huge walleye come in. I saw him on the camera, set the hook, he just slammed it and the drag on my reel did not release for whatever reason and he snapped me right off. But I saw him down there and it was one of those fish that when you set the hook, it's like just a log, like dead weight. So no doubt that was probably one of the bigger walleyes that I've ever personally um, seen or almost caught on this lake. So we might give this another shot tomorrow, but right now the bite's pretty much done. So we're gonna head on in. This was a new spot for me, which I should probably mark by the way. Um, but uh, thanks for hanging out with us and I will catch you in a little bit.